Teaching Go Around Method 1. Luring Use a treat to lure your dog around the corn. Use a continuous sweeping motion so your dog does not stop and does a full around. You need to click or mark as soon as your dog comes around the corn. Make sure you set your dog up to succeed by resetting to a start position. I reset Bella to a start position at my right side so she has the best chance to succeed. Fade the lure as soon as your dog is following your hand reliably. To fade the lure, use your empty hand and then reward from your treat pouch. Your hand movement that will then become your visual cue. Add distance gradually, moving the corn a few inches at a time and only add more distance once your dog is reliable at the previous distance. Method 2. Target Stick Precursor to using a target stick to teach go around is that your dog must already know how to target and follow the stick. Use the stick as an extension of your hand to guide your dog around the corn. Use a continuous sweeping motion so your dog does not stop and does a full around. Make sure you are setting your dog up for success by resetting to a start position. I reset Bella to a start position at my right hand side so she has the best chance to start her go around correctly. Fade the target stick as soon as you can. To fade the target stick use your same hand in a sweeping motion. Your hand movement will then become your visual cue. Method 3. Shaping Shaping simply means achieving a goal by successive approximations, breaking down a behaviour into tiny increments then reinforcing the dog at each increment until you achieve your goal. To shape a goal around it's important you are quiet and still and let your dog work out what gets him the reward, but also remember to set up for success Make sure that environment and positioning are conducive to learning and there's nothing wrong with giving acquired hints to help your dog succeed. Reinforce any tiny increments towards going around the corn, making sure not to rush things to move on too quickly. So at first you might just be reinforcing your dog looking at the corn, then taking a step towards the corn and so on until your dog is understanding that it's the action of going around the corn that is getting him his reward. Please note, there is a potential for some dogs to get frustrated with shaping, which can hinder the training process, especially if you and your dog are not experienced with shaping, so I would encourage you to be aware of your dog's body language and watch for signs of stress and displacement behaviours, and if unsure at all, use one of the other methods. To start with, click and reward any interaction with the corn. Here, I throw the treat around the other side of the corn to encourage Bella to go round. Then I place another free treat to bring Bella all the way around. Now I place the treat further around the corn so Bella is coming all the way around before she gets a click and is reinforced. I also place a free treat to my right hand side to reposition Bella, setting her up for success for her next move.
Now I start to reinforce Bella back at the start position. So she is still being clicked for the action of going around the cone but she has to go back to the start position for her treat. That will then set her up for success for the next move. Note I am still not using any verbal or visual cues. Here Bella got stuck a little bit but I just wait and she worked it out. Again, Bella had a mental block. She started to offer other behaviours, touching, pushing the corn. But to set her up to succeed and avoid frustration, I give her a little hint with a head movement. Add distance gradually, moving the corn a few inches at a time and only add more distance once your dog is reliable at the previous distance. In the following clips I want you to see Bella's mistakes so you can see that errors do happen. Each time Bella makes an error I reset her at start position and give her a hint with a hand movement. By waiting and giving some hints it sets Bella up for success without her becoming frustrated. Remember by adding distance you are changing the picture so help your dog succeed. If your dog does make an error, don't say no or ah ah. Just ignore any unwanted behaviour and give some hints if you need to help him succeed. Remember, every error is a chance to learn something. Once your dog is doing a go around reliably using either of the methods, you can then add a verbal cue. To add a verbal cue, say your cue go around before you use any hand signals. In the first clip, Bella makes an error going round, which she corrects herself. Corrected yourself. Very good. Sit. Wait. Go round. Sit. Wait. Go round. Sit. Wait. Wait. Go round. Good girl. Go round. Good girl. Go round. 